good to go. Opening statement. Um, yeah, obviously just really proud of the group. These players from the get-go, day one to obviously finish at the thing now, it was going to be player-led, um, and they played that way in regards to those guys. Their week of work down here, I thought they were focused. Uh, they wanted to play well in this game. A lot of contributions from a lot of different guys. And so, it, uh, you know, we finished obviously the way we wanted to. Defensively, throughout the night, you know, physicality, wanted to take away the run game, made it hard for them, got off the field offensively, really functioned in a lot of ways uh, well. Caught a couple hiccups in the first half, but I did think that drive to start the second half and getting points to turn it into 17 was huge. Um, and so, yeah, really, really pleased. Special team shows up again. So that's where I'm back to everybody contributing to a big win. John, it seems like you asked this question several times down the stretch, but did this feel like the most complete performance of the season? You know, without staring at film, and it felt that way. You know, defensively, obviously, awesome effort. Offensively, did some really good things, getting points on the board and got contributions from special teams. So it did feel pretty complete. You you are a, a thread to the 2000 team. How, how close do you feel like this team is to that team? Well, uh, yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I'm not going to be a smart aleck now. I, I think that, you know, both those teams had some really good players on it. And, again, special years in, on both instances. Really happy with this team. Uh, and I'll leave it there. Did uh, Defensively, did you see that confidence this week in, 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 in what they actually performed, how they performed out there? I, I, I felt like those guys were wanting the challenge. I think that offensive line in Florida is really good. They've got a couple of good backs that can run the ball. They felt like that was a challenge. These guys have, uh, had a good week, really a couple of weeks of practice. And, and look, this defense had a lot of pride, and they were going to play with some energy and make it physical. I did think they were dialed in throughout practice because they were motioning a lot. There's adjustments that come with that, and they were dialed in. Jonathan, Jack, and Jaden both just sat up here and gave a really strong endorsement for Ben as as the quarterback of this team going forward. And there's been a lot of speculation about what that's going to look like and who could potentially have interest in your program. Um, what has Ben shown you to position himself with the future of this program? Well, I mean, look, the guy's 7-1 and one as a starter. He's done what we've asked him to do. I think any place you want to create competition in the room and Ben's not shy away from that I think he had one of his better games tonight and we told him before the game that we're going to take you out the game for a couple series and again let Tristan play so this guy don't bat an eye he is competitive the, the guys really like him and rally around him and he's going to have the opportunity to do that uh, moving forward you obviously had um, some wide receivers missing today Silas really stepped up and made a couple big plays for you. Could you could you talk about especially that play in the first half to kind of get you guys going a little? No bit. question. Silas has made some tough catches in there. Got the deep ball going on the early drive. Uh, he, he got opportunities and he continues to make plays. That guy is tough, not just fast. Touchdown catch in the second half was you know he knew he was going to get a hit, locked in on it, came down with it. Special player. How um, special is this group of seniors that have kind of been with you from the very start? from a, a two-win season to yeah. now? Yeah, really a uh, special group. You know, I can't list them all, but I did do Jaden and Jack being up here and Brandon Kipper going through it. And, you know, I'm on pause before I miss somebody name-wise. But it's a, it is. It's a unique group, been through a lot, uh, stayed around, stuck to the process. Um, and, again, really proud that they player-led, the senior group led, uh, one of the best teams around here in a long time. Uh, the decision to give Tristan a couple of series is that was that something you wanted him to have, you know, before his career ended? And even in a game where you know the stakes felt pretty high for you guys, the opportunity mm -hmm. to get to ten wins, it was only a, a you know a, a seven point game at that point. Yeah, um, can you just kind of explain your thinking? Yeah, a lot there. Uh, it'd been brewing to me a little bit just watching him practice the last month of like this guy's throwing it really well. He's playing as good as I really have seen him. And then I look at his influence. Uh, being a captain on this team, guys rallying around him, uh, really like him. The way he continued to support Ben, it's disappointing not to be able to play, continue to support him. It just felt like, you know, it's not more than the tip of the cap. The guy, if we wasn't close to, to Ben, we wouldn't have put him out there. We're trying to win the game. And so we did feel like put him out there and, and give him a couple series and then see how it went. Um, and he led us to points. Might have got a touchdown on his drive, but we don't, you know, 
got guys in motion on his quarterback sneak. So all of that, what he'd meant to the program, what he's been doing, how well he'd been playing, we felt like um, giving him that chance. At the same time, we wanted Ben to be able to see the picture from the sideline a little bit. And, uh, you know, Ben took advantage of that, and, and he, he Ben played really well in the second half. Jonathan, in your introductory press conference about five years ago, you said with regard to success and, and winning 10 games and getting to bowl games that it's been done before and it can be done again. How much sitting here now do you feel, okay, mission accomplished, but then also how much does it set the stage for what you're planning to do in the future? Yeah, I, I, again, yes, it's been done here, and now we can. We know we can go to bowl games and win, and we can win a bunch more than we lose. That's all That's all good. I think we, we got more in the tank, and we're going to keep uh, pushing forward, excited about the next year and what's coming back, understanding how hard it is to win. Uh, I, I totally get that, but I do feel like the – you know, the commitment from everyone involved, administration, Scott Barnes, this coaching staff, these players buy in. We've got some momentum. We want to continue it. Jonathan, Jack just said the preparation leading up to this bowl game was a lot better than, than last year's. In what ways did you kind of see that in, in this week leading up to the game? Yeah, I thought we learned a ton from last year. Um, and we went hard. We went Tuesday and Wednesday. We went hard. We were in pads. These guys were banging around. Um, and so our approach was a little bit different. Obviously, last year was a big just to get to the game. And so from all of that learning experience, I do think these guys were locked in this week. Jonathan, you talked about the defense and obviously a tremendous effort from them today. Uh, you know, you gave Trent a new extension a couple weeks ago. Does that kind of just reaffirm kind of the belief in him? And do you kind of believe he's one of the brightest young defensive coaches out there right yeah, now? Yeah, he, he did a great job this year. And I think he'd be the first to say his staff was a part of that and the, let alone that the players on his side. And we want to be proactive. This guy's been getting hunted up. He's going to continue to get hunted. Um, I, we want to be proactive and make sure he knew that it, we recognize the quality of work he's done. And he's not alone. This coaching staff, there's a lot of guys doing a great job. Um, and these guys will be locked in as, as it goes uh, moving forward. And we'll announce all of that. But these guys are going to have some options too. And he has success. we got a big-time coaching staff. Opportunities are going to come their way. And we'll see how it plays out. Continuing on that as well, obviously, you know, you yourself have a new contract and, you know, um, the program's in as good of a place as it's been in a while. What does that say to potential, you know, onlookers outside looking at the program to see you're here, you're committed, Trent's here, Trent's committed, the whole staff, you know, been here, and now a 10-win campaign to boot? Yeah, you know, there's a lot, a lot to like there. And again, momentum, uh, we understand that it's not easy to win. And it's, so moving forward, it's not going to be easy. I do think we got some continuity that, w that has gotten us to this point. Obviously, try to keep a lot of that to keep this momentum going. Coach Jack pretty much did a little bit of everything on the field. I know it's not a surprise to you, yeah. but what you know, what is it like to have a player like that and to watch his performance today? Yeah, he's going to be tough to replace. I mean, uh, all three phases, this guy's contributing. You know, he gets the hand in on the the punt block. I think it was a huge. You know, we go fake punt first drive of the second half, put it in his hands to continue the drive and then we separate the thing by get up 17 that was a huge play so he's doing that offensively you know lead blocking gets a first down at carrying the ball at quarterback he's got tackles and not just on defense but in special teams so we're gonna have to replace him with maybe three or four guys so jack just said when he first got here if you would have told him that you guys after your two win season or one win season we're gonna do this, win 10 games, win the Las Vegas Bowl, that he pretty much would have laughed. But did you feel differently? Did you always know that this was possible and have hope? You know, I think you always got some hope, but you got to have some strategy behind it, some consistency behind it. Jack's the epitome of that, of going, being consistent, going to work. These guys kept believing. Um, and, it, yeah, it's been a, a couple of years process. But I think Jack's a huge factor. Jaden and Jack being the two guys up here are huge factors in us continuing to progress each year. Congrats. Uh, Jonathan, um, it struck me when you were voting for MVP, there could have been eight, ten guys. And then Jaden mentioned that, you know, it's amazing what can happen when guys just don't want the credit. How difficult is that to develop that sort of culture, I guess, to yeah. where guys don't really care, they just – I, I want to win games. Yeah, it's not easy. In this day and age in college football, that's why I go back to how special this group was, the players, this idea of being selfless, not worried about their own touches, attention, how many snaps, uh, been through some rougher seasons, made some momentum, and we want to continue to build and get it better and whatever it took and playing their role. And so 
on down the line. I mean, the the seniors, look at our backfield, the running backs, those guys contributing and going. We got a starting quarterback's fine. You're going to sit two series, we're going to put another guy in, he, he pops back in. Uh, Jack Coletto started as a quarterback, and he bought into just doing all kinds of other stuff. Um, that's why this group is so special, because we hung on to this idea of being selfless. And in this day and age, I think that's unique. Um, and we've, we won 10 games doing it.